Well, if you've spent more than two seconds with this program, you know I have a problem with the border. And currently, I have a problem with New York Governor Elliot Spitzer for his insane plan to give out driver's license for illegals. Now, some states have already tried this approach, and guess what? <laughs> it didn't work. States like Tennessee, North Carolina, they had criminal gangs helping illegals establish phony residences, and DMV officials were flooded with people from other states because it was so easy to get a driver's license using, using a bogus citizenship and ID papers. Fern uh, Schubert is a former North Carolina state senator who ran for governor in 2004. Uh, Fern, your state tried this. Didn't work. Tell me what happened. Well, as you might have imagined, we had a lot of gangs moving in. We had a lot of drug activity. But unlike you, I'm delighted with what New York's governor is doing because I think he's going to help solve our problem. <laughs> so you're trying to get the criminals out. That's right. But don't they already have driver's license if they're there? Well, before we found out what was going on, we had almost 400,000 people who admitted that they had no social security number that had gotten driver's licenses and we have no idea how many people were using fake numbers, uh, stolen numbers, you Okay, well, it. these guys are saying, I mean, New York is saying you don't need a driver, you don't need a social security number. All you need is a passport. So I don't know what you are using for ID, but they're saying we can ID these people. I mean, this, is their, this is their theory. And right, by the way, Richard Clark said two months ago it, didn't, it wouldn't work and it would be horrible for national security, and now he says it is a good idea. But Spitzer says that... We'll know who the bad guys are so we can monitor them. They tried that story here. They said they were going to use facial recognition, but you'd go, they would go in, get their picture taken, get their driver's license, and a few weeks later they'd discover, oh, the guy already has five. Um, you know, they keep coming up with stories about it, but my question is this. Why do they need a driver's license? To get to government benefits they're not entitled to? or to a job they can't legally hold. No, um, I think Spitzer says it's because he wants to make sure that people have a driver's license and that way they can get car, insu car oh, insurance. That's, that's another scam they tried down here. You'd have people go in and get insurance so they could get their license, then they would let the policy lapse. We had um, insurance agencies set up for the purpose of selling the binders. I'm not sure if they ever sent the money to the home office or not, but uh, no, they've tried all those stories in North Carolina before, and what you get, end up with, if you go onto the website right now at DEA.gov, the Dr Drug Enforcement Agency, they're not politically correct, and what they say is that the large influx of foreign nationals created a major drug problem here. Not that everybody was involved in the trade, but it gave the sharks an ocean to swim in. Okay, real quick, we only have 30 seconds. You, you don't do it in, in, uh, in North Carolina anymore. I'm proud to say that we have made significant improvement. Why, why did you stop? Or how did you get it to stop? You keep revealing what's going on. And when the drug problem got big enough, when the gang problem got big enough, when the problem in the schools and health care got big enough, okay. the majority of the public realized that they were being had by the plantation boys that wanted cheap labor. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, coming up, Rush Limbaugh has raised $2 million for the U.S. Marines, and then he kicked in another $2 million out of his own money. Money well spent, but where's the mainstream media? It will tell you everything you need to know. That's coming up in tonight's Real Story Next.